about a month till St. Patrick's Day, and not all Irish eyes are smiling. I have to remember that my legal battle over my artist's rights doesn't affect the joy. Colleen Barry Conway is an Irish artist in Southington. For nine years, she's turned her love of art and her Irish culture into a successful online business, creating and selling jewelry, bumper stickers, even tattoos using Oum, an ancient Irish alphabet. Celebrating a hidden part of Irish history, a lot of people don't know about the Oum alphabet, so it's been a lot of fun educating people about this part of Irish history. She says she has her own unique style of painting Oum designs. The ball at the top and the wisp at the bottom is indistinguishably mine. But she got animated when she says she recognized her work in this holiday exhibit at the Dublin Zoo in Ireland on lit up lanterns. She says her style of Ohm appeared without her permission or without any artistic credit. I felt very violated. She accuses the zoo of stealing her artwork online. Like someone just ripped my spirit out. Newsday emailed the zoo's legal team this morning to get their side of the story. So far, no reply. But we asked Conway to illustrate for us why she believes the zoo used her work. This is my print, and this is the, the display at the zoo. The ball at the top, um, the thickness on the left, and then the slant down thin on the right, and the wisp on the bottom. That's my signature mark. Conway says she and the zoo have been in contact about possibly including her name in the exhibit, but she says the time negotiating has impacted her online business. Thousands upon thousands of dollars. No word yet if her fight will end up in court, but she says she isn't going to just brush it off. In Southington, LaSalle Blanks, News 8.